have never thought what I witness and what I know now was a reality. The most beautiful thing in the world and the most hellish journey. I have so many regrets. My daughter was crying for help. I had no clue how to help her. And every father wants to do what's best for their kids. We want to shield them from pain. I thought this was a really, really intense film. I really liked it. I also think that I have a, a different kind of probably perspective than most people um, because my dad does work in addiction medicine and he has for decades. Um, so I grew up with a slightly different perspective about probably to most people when it comes to addiction. And I think that this film is really, really wonderful because I think a lot of the time, even if you know somebody that struggled with it, you often don't know the extent of that struggle unless you are a very, very close friend or family. We kind of close ranks around the people that we love and we close ranks around the people that are struggling to try and help support them as much as we can. But I think a lot of that often means you that, that people outside of that bubble don't get the full picture. And I think that that's especially true with things that have, you know, some kind of, you know, stigma attached to it like addiction does. And so I really appreciated this film because it showed the the raw kind of journey, which is very, very vulnerable to do, even like for the family members, for everybody involved. It's very, very hard to do. It takes a lot of courage. And I think that it's wonderful because it really shows the full extent in which people do struggle and that it is kind of all consuming and of showing the longevity of addiction. Even if, you know, you think that it's been X amount of time or that things are going great and things like that. Things can derail you. Things can set you back. You can have a relapse. And it's very, very normal for people with addiction to relapse. Heavy, yo. Emotionally. Oh my goodness. Uh, it was really good though. It was effective in, you know, they said the goal was to tell a story and hopefully that story, you know, uh uh inspires you know changing attitudes and, and and action and i could see it doing both you know and i think uh it was told well as far as like the reenactments with the b-roll and like the casting and also the b-roll with the reenactments but also the a-roll just interviews and just letting the real be real you know like that was also both and it was like a both and situation where both of them together made it more powerful than either one of them by itself you know what i mean a person's perspective of their relationship with addiction and how it's changed the every fabric of their well-being we get to fall into the story of someone sharing uh, their belief of what addiction was like before, and it's a very similar common uh, societal uh, idealism that they put forward. Um, they connect it with the homelessness uh, crisis of looking at someone on the street and not really seeing someone. It really changes for them when they find that addiction comes into their own home and um, ends up having their daughter uh, fall to this issue of addiction and it leads to her uh, demise. And so with that being said, this gentleman goes on this uh, journey to share these experiences uh, of people's relationships and journeys with addiction it goes into an educational storyline as well, where they dive into these different scenarios where um, how there are um, a bunch of things stuffed into pills and things are masked, whether it's just a light change of color and uh, going to such lengths to uh, sneak fentanyl 
uh, into certain medicines and when people get just a little bit of intake of certain drugs and medicines, it overtakes everything that they have ever known and it breaks down of, you know, the qualities and the perspectives of what inevitably build uh, an addict. It's presented uh, just with a lot of, uh, you know, sort of cinematic flair, I guess, um, just really stunning visuals that uh, really elevate the, the narrative, which is already very powerful. Uh, and again, like I said, important, but uh, in this case, just filled with a lot of human interest. They're not just talking about a, a broad issue. Um, you know, we have a very specific example and we're, uh, you know, invited into their uh, life, into this tragedy. Um, and so while it um, is structured very much, I guess, like a documentary, it feels very cinematic and it was uh, really um, as tragic and, and sensitive as the material was, it was, um, it, it, as I, I hesitate to say, it was you know, satisfying to watch, but it gave you this um, sort of sense of a hope and ability and just raw sort of uh, insight into, uh, you know, living through something like that or knowing someone who um, has battled addiction. It was just, it was really well done. I think the, the visuals really do a lot to build the story and create a sense of empathy uh, for the viewers in a visual way, while the voiceover is really well written and where the perspective is shared, it's, it's well suited for exploring the topic from a personal perspective, but also bringing in um, professional expertise on how similar situations can be prevented in the future for other people. And I, I think it's a, a valuable documentary from a preventive perspective, but also from a place of uh, mourning and honoring a loved one's memory. The film was so well done. It brought me to tears many times. The production values were incredible. The cinematography was so well done with effective close-ups, drones, and slow-mo. The soundtrack was amazing, emotional, soaring, and dramatic, notably the orchestrals and piano. It was beautiful to see and hear the love between father and daughter. It was also quite frightening at times given the scenes of Christine battling her addiction. The performers playing the real people were incredible, very convincing and dramatic portrayals. It was also inspiring that the father is continuing his daughter's legacy to help those struggling with addiction and working for change.